My name is George Barsinus, and I'm a professional development trainer for ViewSonic. Um, I am excited to show you the classroom uh, sections of what we're working on with my view board. And you'll notice that this one is going to be focusing on enabling and disabling teacher audio and video so that the students can see you um, while you're doing the lesson, um, whether it's in person or hybrid or virtual. Now, um, the first thing we need to make sure that we're at is we're on this website. So if you guys look, I am actually on the website called myviewboard.com and I'm going to click on the one above me here called Classroom. Classroom is what I'm going to be using to go into this. Now, if I click on it right now, if I click on Classroom, so I click on the Classroom button, it opens up my Classroom, and you'll notice in a second here that it looks exactly like the whiteboard software. You'll notice over here I have my tools, but there's a couple differences that I want to highlight so that you can see them. So right now you'll notice here um, on, the, on the whiteboard, above me, you'll see it says Public Session, and then below me, you're going to see that there's a little button that has like an eyeball on it, but it's the way that I can turn on my audio and my video. Now, before I do that, I'm going to apologize because it's probably going to give me some feedback. So I'm going to be as quick as I can to make sure I, I limit that because I'm actually recording this and showing this at the same time. But this little settings icon right up above here is where you can actually check where is your audio and settings coming from. So right now I'm going to click on it. And you're going to notice right here, it's going to open up um, right now, right over here where it says audio and video. When I click in there, I can actually choose where this stuff is coming from. So right now I'm going to choose to look at, um, do I want my camera to be my FaceTime camera, which is right on my computer here. I can also check to see what I want my audio to be. So right now here below, and you can see that the little red line going out, I can even test my audio if I need to. So I'm going to close this out right now, and then I'm going to turn it on. Now, to enable this, what is this going to do? So I'm going to show this in two different ways. I'm going to show you this, uh, what it looks like um, for you as a teacher, what it looks like when you're um, going through um, the dashboard, and what it looks like for the student. So I'm actually have myself in the classroom a couple different ways. Um, I have already opened up my dashboard. Your dashboard will be right down here. And you notice this is going to be the tab for my dashboard, and this is the tab for my student. So I've actually joined my own session. So if I click on the dashboard tab right now, right above here, you'll see that here are what my classroom looks like, and we'll spend some time on the next video looking at this. So right now you notice I have two students in this classroom. This is what my dashboard tab looks like. And you notice there's a spot in the middle where, in the middle where there's no video. If I click on the student dashboard, if I click up above me now, so I'm going to go up here and click above me, you're going to notice now I'm on the student side. What they see is a whiteboard with some pin tools on the on the bottom. But over here, there's a spot for my face. And so I want to show you what that looks like. OK, so right now this is the student side. The other one that I showed you, the dashboard, is where you navigate and run your meeting and you have like a, a place where you can go and see what the students are doing and what's going on. This is your dashboard, hence the name dashboard. And then the first one, this is where here you're going through and you're showing your lesson and you're, and you're, and you're doing your thing. This is where you're running the meeting and going through. So for instance, let me just go and write something on this so you guys can see uh, what this looks like here. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, click on the pen tool. So right here, the pen tool, and then I'm just going to write my name, George. So I'm going to go here and write George. Okay. So if you notice when I click here and write George, there's my name. If I go to the dashboard, you'll notice that uh, up above here, here. Um, this is where I can navigate, see the students. And then on the view board, this is what the students will see. And notice right here, there's my name. Now let's put not only my name, but let's put my face over there so the students can see me. The way that we do that is in here in the, the place I'm doing. Remember up here it says public se session. I'm running and doing my meeting. I need to go and turn it on. And the way to turn it on is by clicking down here on this little button down here on the bottom right, this button over here that shows uh, the little uh, play button. And when I click on it, it's going to go and say share my audio and my video. The first time it's going to ask you, um, do you want to share it? And I'm going to be as quick as I can to turn off my microphone. 
<laughs> there we go. No, uh, no uh, echo or feedback. This only happens because I'm recording and I'm showing it at the same time. Now, notice I'm here. I'm here on my screen and I'm going to write my last name now. So pen tool, I'm going to go over here and write Barsenas. And then what I do, uh, what I do like is I'm doing what I'm kind of doing right now. See how um, right now, if I click on the arrows, I like that I can move myself um, on the screen as I go through this. So sometimes that's some fun. Uh, or I can leave myself down here. But let me tell you what has just happened. What I've just done is in the dashboard. So remember in the dashboard at the top, I click on the second one. I can now see um, that now inside in the middle of the screen, let me move myself out of the way. In the middle of the screen, um, I can see what the students see. So right now I can see um, this is what it looks like, but I have mimicked it already for you. So it looks like what it looks like for the student. So I'm gonna click on the one that I created, which is the student tab. And then here you'll notice in the student section, uh, there's what everything that I'm writing that I'm doing live and then there's where the student can see me so here and you notice I have myself flipped around so it looks like I'm waving at myself but here's where I can tell what the students can see and I can enable and disable my camera okay let's do that one more time but in reverse I turned on my camera let me turn off my camera so I'm gonna go back to the 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 whiteboard that I've been working on and in this whiteboard in the buttons below I have the stop button. So you notice down here, I have a stop button that I can go through and stop it. I have where I can turn my mic on and off and I can turn my camera on and off. So this is where I can turn it, but I'm just gonna click on the stop button right here. And then you'll notice right now, when I click on that, the feed has gone away. And for the student now, they have that empty spot where there's nothing there. So that is the quick way to how to enable and disable your camera so that the students can see you, whether they're in person or virtual or hybrid, that you can have that interaction with the students. I hope this helps and I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we continue to do all the things that we can do with Classroom.